us about global environmental issues. There are several global environmental issues like acid rain, ozone layer depletion, climate change and greenhouse effect. Today, we are going to discuss about greenhouse effect. Now, what is greenhouse effect? So, the greenhouse effect can be explained by studying sun's relationship with the earth. There is combination of gases surrounding the earth without which our planet will be a large lifeless sphere. What we see here is the sun's relationship with the earth. The sun has a surface temperature of about 6000 degrees Celsius and it radiates huge amount of energy down to the earth, most of it as visible light or short wave radiation. The gases that make up our atmosphere mostly are nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide which are largely transparent to short wave radiation. About Half of the incoming short wave radiation are reflected back to space by top of the clouds or by light colored surfaces like deserts or glaciers. The other half warms the earth's surface which then radiates energy back to space. But here's the rub. The outgoing radiation occurs in a different form called infrared or long wave radiation. The atmosphere is not transparent to that infrared energy. CO2 molecules absorb and hold on to the energy and re-emit it. Some of the re-emission comes right back down as heat and some is reabsorbed by other greenhouse molecules such as methane, CFC, nitrous oxide and other greenhouse gases and some eventually escapes to space. The chain of absorption, re-emission temporarily traps energy in the Earth's atmosphere. It is this energy which helps the Earth's atmosphere to be warm. Without this naturally occurring process, Earth will be considerably cooler. But if we add more CO2 molecules to the atmosphere, which we are doing since decades now, this extra molecules will retain additional heat and will contribute more intense warming of the planet. Global warming is occurring and greenhouse gases added to the atmosphere which are driving it what causes the rise in temperature. So let us summarize greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is effect where absorption of heat is done by greenhouse gases present in the atmosphere which leads to increase in temperature. There are two types of greenhouse effect, enhanced greenhouse effect and enhanced greenhouse effect. What is enhanced greenhouse effect? Enhanced greenhouse effect is an effect where the earth temperature is increased by a natural process or by a natural phenomena. An enhanced greenhouse effect is an effect where the temperature of the earth is increased by man-made activities like pollution. So, there are two types of greenhouse effect, enhanced and enhanced. One is occurring naturally and the enhanced one is occurring artificially. So, now, this method is also utilized in cold countries to increase temperature so that they can raise delicate plants which require more heat. So, in colder countries, to increase temperature in a room, greenhouse effect is utilized. How they utilize greenhouse effect? They make a house of glass wall. And because of that, the temperature inside the room will be higher compared to the temperature outside because glass will absorb the heat. As it absorbs the heat, the water vapor content in the room increases and even carbon dioxide content in the room is also high. And because of this three thing, glass wall, high carbon dioxide content and high water vapor content in the room, the inside temperature is more than the outside temperature. Now, as the glass will absorb the heat, they let short wave radiation to pass through them but prevent escape of infrared radiation emitted by the earth's surface. This makes the room more hotter than the outside temperature. Now what are the impacts of global warming? The first impact of global warming is global temperature increase. It is estimated that every temperature of earth may increase by 1.4 degree Celsius to 5.8 degree Celsius by the year 2100 from year 1990. In the 20th century, the global mean temperature has increased by about 0.6 degree Celsius. The second impact of global warming is rise in sea level. 
with increased global temperature, polar ice caps and glaciers will melt. It also causes thermal expansion of sea water resulting in further rise in sea level. Average global sea level will rise by 0.2 to 1.5 meters over next 50 to 100 years. The country's most risk are the river delta areas of Bangladesh, India, Egypt, Thailand and China, but many small islands will also suffer. The third effect of global warming is the global warming will lead to change in rainfall pattern in many areas, thereby affecting the distribution of vector-borne disease like malaria, filariasis, elephantitis. The fourth effect of global warming is effect on food production. Global warming will reduce crop production due to increased incidence of plant disease and pest, explosive growth of weed. It is estimated that the yield of rice along in South Asia will decrease by 5% for each 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. There will be also other climatic effect which includes unequal distribution of rain which may result in flooding in some areas and rot in some areas. In temperature regions, the summer will be longer and hotter whereas the winters will be shorter and warmer. The already dry subtropical regions may become drier and tropical regions may become wetter. Now, how we can control global warming? So there are approaches to control global warming. The first approach to control global warming is reduction in greenhouse gas by emission by reducing the use of fossil fuel and by developing alternative renewable energy source like solar energy, wind energy, etc. The second approach to control global warming is reduction in nitrous oxide emission by minimizing the use of nitrogen fertilizer in agriculture. The third approach to control global warming is increase of vegetation cover, particularly forest as it sinks for CO2 absorption. The fourth approach to control global warming is phasing out chlorofluorocarbon and developing its substitute. The fifth approach to control global warming is trapping use of methane as a fuel. Sixth approach to control global warming is stabilizing population growth. And the last approach to control global warming is using energy resource judicially, which will help in decreasing the temperature of Earth, which is increasing day by day. Thank you for watching this video.